So we're coming to the Gnostic Gospels and the Gospels of Comparison. Um, the Gnosticism, the word comes from the ancient Greek word for knowledge. A Gnostic is someone who knows a knower what do you see or she know it is what was secret teaching that lift him to new insights the biblical gospels root their truth in real time and place around the life of Jesus who lived in Israel before the fall of Jerusalem it is true each a gospel has a theological agenda but history is at the heart of what they communicate must one must always know that all historians write with an agenda but that does not mean we can't find historical facts from them in contrast, you find the Gnostic texts do not anchor Jesus in historical time. For example, Pilate is not mentioned at all. Galilee comes only once in Gnostic text. As for the Biblical Gospels, Pilate appears about 60 times. Galilee is mentioned about 60 times. The Nag Hammadi Gnostic text, Jerusalem, is found only 16 times. And the Jerusalem is found only 16 times and the comments like historical reality. The biblical gospels mention Jerusalem 70 times and know the city intimately. The Gnostic gospels when compared to the biblical gospels like historical detail with the biblical gospels with the uh, four gospels. <coughs>